A prisoner escapes and leads police on a high-speed chase through several counties. WLKY's Annalisa Gale joins us now with the tales on how police caught him. Annalisa? Vicki, police say it all started when 37-year-old Fabian Valentine stopped at a rest stop with a corrections officer. He was heading back to prison from a court trip. It's a scene that turned drivers' heads on I-64 Friday afternoon. An SUV knocked off to the side of the road. It was all captured by WLKY's news chopper. Earlier today, a prisoner escaped from a correctional officer in Clark County at a rest area. Uh, the subject then stole a vehicle from the rest area and headed uh, westbound on I-64. He was able to obtain the weapon from the correctional officer. Kentucky State Police say they spotted the escaped inmate Fabian Valentine in a 2002 Hyundai Santa Fe because of the way he was driving. The subject was driving erratically on I-64 westbound in Franklin County when Kentucky State Police located the vehicle. That's when the high-speed chase began going through Franklin and Shelby counties around 1240. They attempted to get the subject to stop. He refused to. He then rammed one of the state police cruisers, uh, knocking his vehicle off the roadway. The pursuit lasted for about 10 minutes. Anytime we are involved in a pursuit, we do put ourselves in danger also, but that is in order to protect the public at large. Kentucky Department of Corrections is now investigating how Valentine was able to escape with a weapon. We will be conducting a thorough investigation as to exactly what happened. So any type of changes in policies or any type of enhancements would be as a result of that investigation. At this point, was serving a seven-year sentence at the Eastern Kentucky Correctional Complex. He was about a year and a half into that sentence. I'm Annalisa Gale, WLKY News. Thanks, Annalisa. No one was hurt in the chase. Fabian Valentine is serving time for receiving stolen property and possession of a controlled substance. Valentine is also facing charges in Jefferson County for string of, robber of business robberies. He's scheduled to appear in court on those robberies next month.